Morning. After the Dodgers, winners of six of the ten played against the Padres in the regular season, but now it comes down to three out of the first five games that they will play in this matchup. The Dodgers, here's their starting lineup. It'll be Mookie Betts. He'll lead it off in right field. Corey Seager batting second. Hi, everyone. This is John. I'm coming to you live from my house. Um, I hope you're, we you're well. Welcome. Um, I had some free time on my hand, and I wanted to practice some product photography I've actually uh, made a living doing product photography and in the last couple years I've actually done less of that but trying to get back into it a little bit and I thought I'd give it a try with some good old beer bottles and um, they pose quite a challenge actually because they're a highly reflective surface you're trying to make it look perfect you know appetizing all that kind of thing and refreshing because um, Beer is supposed to be cold, so there's a lot of things to work with that. Um, one thing I'm trying to do is so I'm using uh, flashes in my garage uh, with some soft boxes um, and some uh, diffuser panels, handheld. Um, one thing um, I'm trying to incorporate is working uh, with in layers with these, because um, what happens is you have a, this front soft box. Uh, shooting onto the bottle and it creates sort of a sh uh, shine and it can kind of flatten the glass um, you've got side I've got two side lights one for the background and then one as a side light to create sort of a highlight on the side of the bottle and what happens is if you shoot them all at once um, this will blow out the front and create you know it just looks kind of milky and ugly so what I'm doing is working in layers just starting with this front light off. Um, I have, I'm have i using the side light behind me to create the, the uh, highlight along the side of the bottle. And then I've incorporated a, uh, a foam, piece of foam core, white foam core, that just stands to give a little bit of reflection as a fill to the side. And then um, there's options to shoot the, the beer itself, like from behind. Um, you can shine a light through it, but what happens, I, I find um, there's ways to do that. You can make a cutout of something that would frame around the bottle, um, and you can just shoot something behind, like a little flash, speed light. Um, but what I find is um, sometimes it creates, you know, texture of the, the flash, or it creates a flare that I don't want. So one trick I actually just saw on the internet, somebody doing, um, taking some gold, gold uh, foil um, cardboard. And since the, the color of the bottle is brown, and the beer is brown, gold, you know, works well with it. So you put the gold behind it, shine a light onto it, and it creates that uh, glowing effect that complements the color of the beer. So then there's another challenge. Um, Beer, I feel like it's supposed to be cold and it's supposed to refre be refreshing so there's options um, you know you could just stick it in the refrigerator bring it out and have it be foggy but what happens is it just looks kind of funky um, actually you know I never actually just tried that I've been trying the tricks more than the real thing so maybe I, I could do that for another video so one trick I've been doing is uh, getting some matte uh, finish spray paint and it goes on clear but it creates a little bit of a texture like it's frost another thing I get is something called glycerin which I'm not really sure what it does per se but it's in the beauty section at CVS or Walgreens or something like that it's cheap it comes in a little bottle and you can put it in a spray bottle and just buy an empty spray bottle you know 50% glycerin and 50% water mix it up and spray it on and what happens is it creates little droplets um, on your bottle or your surface and it doesn't go away so it looks like it's wet but it's not and I wouldn't recommend licking it I don't know if it's toxic or anything like that but make sure just use caution 
don't drink it. Um, but the bot instead of, the stuff inside the bottle is still safe, of course. But anyway, it, what happens is it can stay cold looking without drying or getting warm, that kind of thing. So I think it's probably why people tend to use the, the tricks more than the real thing, um, as far as I know. Anyway, um, I started with this bottle. Um, it's I've never actually tried this, so I just saw it at the store, Duvel. I just like the bottle. Um, there's this uh, crest up here that I thought looked kind of cool. One other trick I've incorporated with uh, bottle photography is usually on the back there's um, some kind of label that's like the government warning, that kind of stuff. Um, usually it's not very interesting or necessary to show. So what I do is I, I remove it. I get some goof off or some kind of adhesive remover and it comes off much easier. And the reason I do that is because if I shoot through it and there's a label there, on the front, you'll be able to see that label, typically, and it's, it's distracting. Especially if it's text that's, you know, sometimes a clear sticker with text. And it'll show through the bottle and, you know, it becomes really distracting. And you can remove it later in Photoshop, but it's a lot more work. So it's easier to just remove the sticker. So once I have everything photographed, um, what I do is I bring um, it all into Photoshop. Um, so I'll have the bottle as I want it, and the, the color of the water, or the, the beer as I want it. It's real beer. I haven't opened it yet. Um, I'll have a, a photo of just the label done well. And when I get to Photoshop, I merge them all together. And, you know, you get voila. Beer. While I was spraying this one with the matte spray, I was using this other beer that, that's behind me. Um, it's interesting, the, the bottle is much darker, so my foil trick wasn't working. I was, I was foiled. So what I did was uh, plan B. Um, I used my flash behind it for several photos to create you know, a nice fill. And it is this cool like red flare. And it's interesting because the the um, the flash itself, it's white light, um, or it's, it's daylight balanced, and I've got my white balance set to daylight. Um, so what happens is, um, this this is the color of the bottle, it's, it has this like, nice red, to me it just looks uh, really cool. Now the tricky thing is I'm shooting on white and if you've ever been on the BevMo website or any kind of Amazon that kind of thing generally product photos you have it on a white background but one thing I want to try to do is uh, incorporate more uh, dramatic lighting that I think will really complement it well. watching a video of another photographer named Nick Carver and in his videos he reviews different kinds of uh, drinks um, along with the photography and one of them he put, talked about this rum called Diplomatico and you know you watch someone else drinking it and you you know like food or cook, cooking shows you see people eating and drinking and you're like I have no idea what the heck they're saying because you can't taste it for yourself so you don't know if it tastes like nothing or tastes like awesome so anyway, he, the way he presented it, it just it sounded really good. So I went and bought like a little trial size uh, shot uh, version of it. And um, after an event, 
me and another photographer friend, we had a little sip and we really liked it. So while today I was out shopping, I saw a good deal on the actual size bottle. So I thought, you know, I'm going to be photographing some beer bottles. So what, what the heck, let's try some rum. Um, so this bottle is actually a challenge for me because um, the texture is matted. But uh, the tricky thing is I try to remove the back label like I was doing on the beer bottles. But what happens was with the goof off, um, it removed some texture that's actually on the bottle. Like it's already matted. So um, I'm being careful on how I photograph it just to make sure I show the front. Because if there's smudges, that kind of thing that I can't fix physically, um, you know, that's going to be a challenge. So I'm making sure it's straight on um, to the front of the label. Another trick is this bottle is actually really dark as well as that other beer bottle I was doing. So it'll be the same trick of just shooting um, layers. I'm starting at the side with this soft box that's actually behind and shooting at an angle. So it's going to create a highlight here on the side. I have another speed light uh, that's bare bulb basically shooting onto this side to create a highlight. Um, I have this one turned off for the moment because I want to use that for the label. Um, and then I'll use the speed light that is um, over there to actually I might incorporate another speed light to have three from behind behind basically one two for the side highlights and one for the for the rum itself. Um, I noticed already it's got kind of a red a red hue you know as rum usually is. Um, and then I might try to do some where it's in a glass. Um, so let's have some fun. surface that I'm shooting on it's it's uh, wrapping paper I just got from a uh, craft store it was like four bucks um, it looks like wood uh, planks um, normally wood planks don't curve as, as in a slope but I thought it would just lend well to have this sort of like a darker atmosphere another option is to go to Home Depot um, if you go to the scrap section in the wood um, you can find a uh, long beams that are scrap and they'll cut it for free for you and oftentimes you get it for like 10 bucks, 15 bucks, depending on the quality of the wood. For this video if you have any comments or questions always feel free to leave them down below feel free to subscribe um, as I was making this video I was debating on sharing what sort of inspired or got me going um, I've been actually meaning to photograph some beer bottles for a while just to get in the practice of it um, but today I lost a friend um, there's somebody I work with you know a good friend he fell asleep yesterday and never woke up and um, so I was dealing with that and I want to give a salute to him. I don't drink alone and you know I have a fake piece of ice in here. Um, but I just want to give a salute to him and to encourage you to reach out to your friends, you know, your family, you know, if you're in a place you need help or somebody to talk to you or just um, if you think about calling a friend, you know, always you never know what tomorrow brings. So I just wanted to leave on that note just 
you know, seize the moment. Enjoy life. Shalom.